Here's another principle here. I'm not going to read all of this, but it says, let your I am a blessing self-consciousness broadcast this benediction to everyone at every point in time, space, and eternity. Mm. See, so I say I am a blessing. That gets broadcast to everyone in every point, time, space, and eternity. I like where you said the next one. It says you must be in the blessing consciousness mm -hmm. to the one degree that yeah. your consciousness is always saying, I am a, a blessing. blessing. Yes. So you got to get into the consciousness of self where that's got to start to become your mantra. Now you might say, I don't like that word mantra. It's too new age. It's got to start to become your confession. Amen. I am a blessing. And when that becomes your consciousness and self, because see, that which I am, I can only receive that which I am. Guess mm. what I keep receiving now? Blessings. Why do you keep receiving blessings? Because I am a blessing. Amen. Here's another principle, number seven. Um, when you become a blessing, you will never again lack a blessing of any kind or any amount. <laughs> uh, anybody feel like being a blessing? <laughs> I like that. Mm. Look at the next point here, principle number eight. Um, if you'll read that for me, Prophet. I'm trying to get these glasses off so I can't read. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you will be a busy, urgent, you will be busy urgently giving and sharing your ever flowing, overflowing, astonishing blessing like Peter. Remember when Peter got in that boat? Yeah. Peter got in that boat, amen, to catch that fish blessing. Mm. And those fishes just came right on in there until the net broke. Isn't that something? And really, Jesus told him to let down your nets, but he let down a net in unbelief. <laughs> so you can't get but so much. Right. You really only can get as much as your mind can contain. I hope God spread my mind like I'm... my belly's been spread. <laughs> Every day I'm expanding in consciousness. Amen. Here's another point here. Nine. Um, Jesus never lacked nor feared anything because he was God's self-conscious blessing. Now that is something that needs to kind of be talked about there. Yeah. Because when it came time for the taxes, he knew where to send them. Yeah, exactly. When they were hungry, they went through the cornfield, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, and on another time, they snatched the boy's lunch, his last lunch. And but took 12 baskets back. because it was too much. And you want to know why? Because the boy went home and said, Mama, Jesus Christ snatched my lunch today. So how you let that man take your lunch? He took your lunch. He says, hold it, don't get mad, Mama. But look what he brought in return. And the disciples came and brought 12 baskets. Mm, mm, mm. Because you could never give and then not come back in return. That's the law of reciprocity. The law of reciprocity. My God. Amen. Give and it shall be given. Good measures, pressed down, shaken together, running over. And you know what I like? When you get into that part, shall. Men. Who? Men. Who? Men. Hmm. We always looking for something, precious digitation to happen, mm -hmm. some feat of magic or something. But <laughs> God will make it to happen. It, it doesn't make a difference if it's precious digitation or it is by osmosis, yes. you know. It doesn't make a difference. That's God right. will make your miracle come into being because it's been spoken. I love our shot And that's the truth of the matter. Amen. We got about three more minutes here. Principle number 10, like Simon, if you are failing at getting what you want, get out of the mentality boat of getting and get into the mentality boat of giving and blessing. Get out of the getting boat and into the loving, giving, blessing boat. Take your boat and give it. And see, that's what Simon did. <laughs> he gave his boat to Jesus. So Jesus could fill his boat. Now, I'm going to say something. Go ahead, know, I, I'm a controversial kind of fella. Go ahead. And, and we, get, we get all these different little problems and things. People worry about borrowing mm -hmm. and if it's right. But Jesus borrowed. Yes, he did. He borrowed Peter's boat. That's right. He asked in the scripture, loan me your boat. Yes, he did. And when he loaned him his boat, it was then that he had more fish he had more blessings and more money to come in than he could withstand and had to call all the other folks 
even his greed couldn't handle what God brought to him. Some of you quickly need to borrow, whether it's your credit card, whether it's uh, from the checking account or, or whatever you need to do. You need to borrow from your situation about your situation and send in that $52 seed or the seed greater that God would ask you to do. It was only then when Jesus borrowed and he said, you want to borrow it? Father is yours. Take mine. Put it in your hands. And it was at that time that God was able to give him the stupendous miracle of overflow that he had. Amen. Amen. Now I'm just talking. Yes. About. Well, this is good. We've got to go. I want you to send the $52 seed and I want to send you the bottle of anointing oil. Amen. And we'll also send you, if you requested this book, Cosmic Economics, which will be a blessing to you. And remember these words that destiny is not left up to chance, but it is a matter of choice. God bless you. Peace. Amen. Amen. Well, we are blessed in the house here. And we're going to look at some more of these principles, and then we're going to get ready to minister to you in the house here. Those of you watching us by way of live streaming, please hit that contact button. Amen. And let us know that you're connecting with us here. Now, I have a couple more principles I want to read. I think we left off at number... We just got to 10. We got to 10. Mm -hmm. um, now, number 11, mm -hmm. we deal with Simon and his partners got out of the getting boats. Mm -hmm. They had failed at getting despite their best efforts. This shows that working hard does not produce results. Have you ever put, your, put forth your best efforts in a job and still lost it? The reason is that there was no seed in the universe to maintain it. I am telling you, God is not mocked. Mm. When Simon turned his getting boat mentality into a giving boat. They caught more fish than they could hold. Find your talent and give it. Whatever you are gifted with, give it. A gift is given to be given. Mm. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. Let go. Let go. Of the getting boat. Of the getting boat. And give. And give. The giving boat. The giving boat. See, when you take what you have and cease to let it be a tool for getting mm -hmm. and make it an instrument of giving, that is when you start to see surplus and supernatural supply. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. We, today, before you came in, we prophesied as Reverend Run and myself and Prophet Kelly came, took up the last 200 of, with us about, we did 600 prophecies. The reason why it took me a minute to get back out here on the stage is because we were busy packaging 600 prophecies that are going out, plus the book, The Science of Prophecy, and CD, a DVD so they can watch it. Mm, mm, mm. Now, that costs a whole lot of money, but you know what? I don't want to know what it costs. Because, no. see, the stress of what it may cost you to give will trick you out of giving. That's right. Because you start worrying over the seed until you abort the seed yourself. You will discover when God gives you an assignment mm -hmm. that you can operate that assignment with no money. Yes. Y'all may not understand me. And you may not understand how you survive. And another person will take hold of that same assignment because you're not there. And they run into all kinds of problems because it's not in their consciousness. It's not in their mind. Their mind is on what is costing, what it would do, what it takes to do this. And, and you, you're not getting what God is saying. This man of God, Bishop Jordan, constantly is giving. And what folk don't understand that it takes hundreds of thousands of dollars to operate this ministry. We're just talking about for those of you that are tuning in. Yes. We're not talking about television time. We're not talking about streaming time. We're talking about just the packages that have to go out every day, every week, constantly. 15, 20,000 a month and 30,000 a week and, and 15,000 and 600 and 800. And then the man hours. 
the, the, you know, all of the different things that it takes. And he says, God said it, just do it.